Okwe mwa ihe na eme. Ande eche mwa ihe na eme na obodo gibo Nigeria. Mhm. Ngwa kiri ehi onyo onyo ono wa. Kefo. Kamwande yungo ke. Bo. Hupu uzo de mwa bo governor of Imo state. Siwe na kwa do kwa ye si welo. Ligye election. Ehe. Kwa welo vote ni inesi ni Imo state. Iwe ti nye na APC. Kofo. Na APC. Bo nye gano ni isi oche. Diko onyi isi ala nke obodo Nigeria. Ona achi ya na achi osi ike. Ema na sonde izi gara aga. Ka. Bu bu biyaro. No obodo. Imo state. Ste na aka. Yabu governor. So ine kwe na anye funa wama made enu wana. Aba si mbo ike. Ka ofu no deliver. Ehe. No deliver votes to all APC. Ego talo. So mbo ya kwa na ha aba. Ona adi abo gwe juwa nya ne epota. Efu ndiyo kenye. Ehe. Mana. Ha wane wete ala adi hama wana obodo. Ndiyo kenye. Hane wete na iya ne eme. Ndi ibo. No de hama. Maka gene. Na ha na oma. Ego ha unwel. Ha no ni isi. Ha wene eme kusi wa ede hama. Geke ne iya nunga. Text of the press conference. By the coalition of united political parties. On the issue of the grand compromise. Of the Nigeria electoral register. The falsification and upload of fake registration, forgery, and transable offenses of rigging the 2023 general election. Gentlemen of the press, fellow countrymen, we welcome you to this historic briefing after a while that we have been silent, rebuilding, and strengthening the coalition. We have called you today because we have secured the documents to back up claims that we have uncovered a well-orchestrated grand compromise of the electoral register, falsification and upload of fake registration, move to nullify the use of the bimodal voter accreditation system Beavers machine, complete takeover of INEC and the removal of its chairman from office, and traceable offenses of rigging the 2023 general election. The issues which I address today go to the very foundation of the hope of our nation to hold credible, acceptable, free and fair general election next year. About four months ago, we intercepted credible intelligence about the grand design of the APC to compromise the 2023 general election and deny Nigerians their sovereign rights to freely choose their leaders. This intelligence was intercepted after the plan was shared in details to some of the APC governors and for them to play their own roles, we laid in wait, collected our hardcore evidence and proof, and today we believe that Nigerians deserve to know the kind of party that is running the affairs of our nation and the imminent threat that can destroy the 2023 general election. We are going to speak today on this compromise of the voter registration exercise the secret court process to stop the use of beavers for the 2023 general election, an advanced plot to cause leadership changes at the highest level of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. First of all, we commend the INEC leadership led by Professor Mahmoud Yakub and the Commission for the bold step of internal cleansing of the voter register, which they have commenced using the automated biometric identif identification system. However, we state that the discovery we have made goes beyond the case of double registration. It is a monumental compromise of the National Voters Register by chieftains of the ruling APC. Gentlemen, during the just-ended continuous voter registration exercise, from our intelligence, some of the APC control states had access, I repeat, had access to INEC registration machines and conducted their own registration process. This time, not with human beings. They use hundreds of thousands of computer-generated photos and faces, passport photographs, calendars, photo albums, and in fact, any human face they could lay their filthy hands on, including the country and re including outside the country and especially Africa. They went as far as Jamaica, New Zealand, and Brazil to pick photos and names. Knowing that a day like this will come, and the press will ask, ask questions. We painstakingly and very carefully monitor these people as they had authority and approval from the highest level of political leadership. 
So I tell you, we have here documentary evidence to show you. We have here documentary evidence to show you that what these people have done. We shall make them available to you so that you will see for yourselves. Gentlemen, let us explain to you that what these people did. These machines were to be located in various government houses or other designated places in the 22 states of the APC that were involved. They had trained personnel who were able to use only one fingerprint to register hundreds of thousands of persons. They had access to, into the system and this, very, this fake registration have all passed through successfully into the database. We shall now use the register in Imo State to demonstrate what we have termed the Omoma magic as this plot was cooked from Omoma and sold to the nation. The Imo State Governor, my own state, is from Omoma ward in Oru East local government area of Imo State. In 2014, Omoma ward had barely 6,500 registered voters. In recent past, Oru is being the hotbed of insurgent activities of a non-government in the state, and with high level of insecurity, many residents have relocated from their ancestral homes. However, Omuma Ward, Governor Hope Uzadim Mass Ward, now have over 46,000 registered voters. Hmm. And not that, that is the ward, we're talking about ward, not the local government. The ward alone now have 46 polling units. Then, I want to show this to you. Give me. Can zoom your camera. This is an extract from the voter register. When you go to Oru East Amuma Central School 2, Central School 2, you will see names like George Shidana, a man's picture and female agenda. You will see names like Ganakoki, a man's picture and female gender. You will see a name like Gosigo Faith, a man's picture and female gender. If you go also to Amuma Primary School, pulling in 01, you will see a name like Grifty Edem, a man with a female picture. If you go to pulling in 01, same Amuma, you see a name like Hans Bira, a woman's picture and a male gender. Then you continue also, in the, you go to Umuhu Primary School 001, you see a man's picture, female gender, a name called Lanley Allen. We are talking of Amuma where you have names like Nkechi Adam. Then you go to uh, uh, the same Umuhu Primary School, you go to you see a name Luna Elomo, a woman's picture and male gender. You see another name Makati Yoso, Japanese name. You see a, 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 a female picture and a man's uh, gender. This is how all of them is. So I will not I will give the copies to all of you and we shout to Nigerians also. Now, when we went through the register, we discovered thousands of these foreigners in the register. We named such as Grifty Edem. Hins Bray, Flood Gary, Ford Scott, Ghana Stella, Hood Killer, Harren Drake, Gruti Silas, Lenny Allen, Luna Amo, Lower Rizafana, Makati Yusio, Muru Amba, Morono Lee, Maurice Dakwam, Navarro Dankwam, Tyson Kata. They are all in their thousands in Hope Uzademas Village, Omoma Ward, in Imo State. We are using Omoma and Imo as a test case of what has been done to over 18 states in the country. It is, however, very instructive that it will be discovered from the data in the register that we shall make available to you that all these fake registrants, both old and young, as can be seen from their photos, all have the same date of birth, 1983, including the grandmothers there. Nigerians will also see new registrants, which are, when you go to page four of this, you will see people that were born in 1900, 1902, 1912, 1913, 1931, all in Hope Mass Village registered among this new registration. Which are names we believe we are from a death register in New Zealand. Names like Abraham, Jack, Dave also appeared against female photos. Further, faces that are obviously quite old are seen with death or bad like 1990, 1993, 2000, 2002. You will also find obviously female names such as Rebecca, Jane, Gloria, Mary, Felicia against male photos and also see photos of women wearing hijab yet answering village names uh, in Omoma in thousands. I need to remember that Omoma is the rural east in Oslo where the activities of unknown government is very high and I neck office have been burnt. Male gender, male gender were assigned to female photos 
and female gender assigned to male photos. What a shame for a party in power to be involved in this type of electoral treason. It is like that all over the states. In many polling units in Uguta, in Mbano, in Oru East, in Idato South, you will see similar things. You will see that it was passport photographs that were used to register majority of the names found in the register. In words like Obioya, Obioya is, 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 is important for you to note here. There is new polling units in Obioya where they have the health centers and the Mumebe Manomo all are contained here. The entire new polling unit scanned passport photos were used for the registration, including barrier pictures. You will see them. They even snapped it from the frame with no shame. It wasn't even a professional work.